Hey guys, it's Tina and welcome back to my channel. First of all, have you seen my new blue and purple hair? Can you see it on camera even? I don't know. But um, yeah, I dyed the bottom part of my hair purple and blue. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but anyway, the bottom of my hair is purple and blue. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, then you already know, but yeah, that's just a cool little detail that I wanted to share. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how you can make your face look a little more tan using only makeup and, wait for it, no foundation. That's right, because anyone can use a foundation that's darker, a little bit darker than their skin tone, and that way look a little bit more tan on the face. And for those of you who want to take their tan a little bit more further into the beginning of winter, although the sun is not as harsh as it used to be in the summer, um, but you still want to feel a little bit more tan in the beginning of the winter as well. Or for those of you like me who don't like to tan their face as much, but they do tan their body and then you need to match your face to your body. But in both of those cases, in both of those cases, it's for those of you who don't want to um, cake on makeup, use foundation. If you don't like to use foundation, if it's too hot during summertime or you just don't like to apply foundation for any other reason and you want something that's a little bit more lightweight but still you want to look tan without using a darker color foundation. So enough rambling, if you want to see how to make your face look a little bit more tan without using foundation, then just keep on watching. So um, I just applied some concealer um, on blemishes, under eye concealer, and I filled in my brows. I don't have any powder on except for the um, under eye powder. I just set my under eye concealer a little bit, and that's because I'm still going to use some cream product. So I'm going to start with a base. So you can use any cream bronzer or kind of liquid bronzer that you have. I prefer using those with synthetic bristol brushes like the Sigma, um, what are these? The extra dimensional brushes, they're really good. Or a sponge like the Beauty Blender. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. blender. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender today. And I'm going to use the Estee Edit Beam Team Bronze um, Hydrate and Glow. And this is kind of a cream, but mm, a little bit more liquidy bronzer. You can see it right here. And I'm going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. And with the Dampen Beauty Blender, I'm just going to tap a little bit into that. And once I get a little bit on my sponge, I'm going to kind of bronze my face where it would usually bronze, which is on the outer perimeter of my face, um, under my cheekbones, on the hairline, and a little bit on the sides of the uh, forehead right here on the temples. And I'm also going to drag it a little bit down the neck just to match a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'm doing first with the cream bronzer and you want to make sure you blend it really well outside so that's because we're not using any foundation that feels a lot more lightweight than a foundation would on your face but it still gives you a little bit more of a color and a base because it is a cream product but because it has um, a little bit of hydration purposes in it so it's like applying a tinted moisturizer but that's um, a lot more bronzed than your actual skin tone you can take also a little bit onto your ears just to match everything and you can see that already makes you look a lot more bronzed, a lot more tan. So that's that for the cream bronzer. Then a little trick that I like to do with a cream product as well is applying a highlighter that's a little bit more bronzy and a little bit darker than your face. Yes, you've heard right, a little bit darker. Although a highlight needs to be like highlighting and you want it to be a little bit, usually it's a lot lighter than your skin tone. To make yourself look a little bit more tan, I would recommend using a cream highlight that's a little bit more bronzy and the reason first of all i'm going to use the cap from the same product that i've used from the estee edit i'm going to use my finger and apply that to the highest points of my cheekbones right here and a little bit on the bridge of my nose and that is 
because when you get naturally tan in the sun you are hit by the sun on the highest points of your face which is the cheekbones and the bridge of the nose but um, it does make you look usually a little bit more glowy in those areas but it also makes you look a little bit more tan in those areas that's why when you are a lot in the sun you can see like a dark um, like a tan line right here because that's the highest points of your face so it's usually darker right here on the bridge of the nose on the highest points of the face a little bit on the forehead and on the chin maybe but it's still although those are the areas where you want to be a little more glowy and highlighted you still want to look naturally tan and those are the places where you naturally get tan so that's why I like to use something like this which is kind of bronzy so it makes you look a little more tan in the natural areas where you would get tan but it's still highlighting a little bit more and we are going to pat it all with a powder on top of it and then add a little bit more products right now so it's not going to look as crazy but that's just a step that I really like to do um, before I move on to powder products I'm going to contour my nose with a cream product as well and you always want to use cream products before powder products this is the contour cream kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the light one and I'm going to use this middle shade right here which is kind of a cool toned brown um, and I'm going to use a flat foundation brush to uh, contour the sides of my nose I'm using a light hand with this, this brush and then I'm kind of um, blending it out with my fingers as well I'm also going to use a little bit under the nose a little bit right here across the nose and I do have a recent video on um, all about how to contour your nose and how to make your nose look smaller if you want to check it out I'm going to link it in the cards on this video and um, you can go and check it out so after I did that I am going to start with the powder products first I'm going to set with kind of a base all over my face I'm using the set and smooth Maybelline fit me powder and I'm going to use just a little bit as you can see this is like my natural face color it's not as dark you can totally just fell you can totally use a um, powder that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone if you want to take it a step further but I'm just going to use this one and with the Sigma F20 fluffy big like big fluffy powder brush I'm going to apply it all over my face I'm not using too much because I don't want to take away from all of the cream products that I apply but I just want to set them in place so I'm using just a little bit of that and now it's time to kind of define all of the colors that we used as cream colors and set them with powder products so first of all I'm going to take let me just take away move away what I don't need anymore I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I've hit pen, obviously, clearly. And I'm going to use the Sigma F23 brush to apply that a little bit where I applied the cream bronzer first, which is the outer perimeter of the face, the hairline, the temples, under the cheekbones, a little bit like that, and a little bit um, under the chin, drag it a little bit down to the neck, and maybe a little bit on the ears as well that way you darken the outer pyramid of the face and you set the cream bronzer furthermore like that then um, if you feel like it's too much you can always go back with the big fluffy brush and gonna blend everything together then I'm going to use a second color bronzer I'm using the um, physician's formula butter bronzer and yes I know I have just a little ring around left I do have a new one but I just want to finish this one first and I'm going to take a more fluffy brush like this one a very very big fluffy brush and with a bronzer that's a little bit lighter you can see the differences this one I don't know if you can see is a little bit lighter and more cool toned than this one that I've used on the outer perimeter of my face and with this one, I'm just going to take a little bit with a light hand and take it... Oh my god, I can't believe I just broke it. And I was just talking about the new one that I have. The universe really wanted me to bust out the new one. Is that for real? I can't believe what is going on! Didn't shatter though. So this is my new one. 
Same one. I'm going to use just a little bit of light hand. I'm going to put it down before it falls again. And I'm going to dust it across my face, the center of my face right here on the nose and the cheeks. As I said, because again, this is the area where we naturally get tan. Also a little bit across the forehead and the chin. I'm going to take a little bit down the neck as well and kind of dust it all over. But because this one is a little bit lighter in tone, it doesn't look as intense as the bronzer that I used um, on the outer perimeter. Of my face! I'm going to gently put it away. Love the scent of it. Gently. Okay, now I'm going to um, intensify the contour of my nose and kind of set it with um, the Maybelline Infallible Pro Contour Kit in light. I'm going to take the bronze color from it and just with an E35 fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to set my nose contour with that. And this is a cool tone bronzer as well because um, I want it to look more like a shadow, not like a tan. So after I finished that, I'm going to apply some blush. And you want to use a blush that's a little bit more pinky because your cheeks also get naturally kind of reddish pink when you get tan, but nothing that's too, too pink. So you want it to look pretty natural. I'm going to use the Essence um, Satin Touch Blush in the color Satin Love which looks like this, and with a Sigma F40 brush, I'm going to take it to the apples of my cheeks, so right on the center right here, and then take it a little bit outwards, but mostly focusing on the apples of the cheeks. Again, as I said, because this is the higher point of the cheek where you naturally get 10, like that. Then for the highlight, as I said, I am going to set it a little bit, you can still see it's glowy. And I'm using the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. So I'm gonna open it. Looks like this. And I'm going to take those two shades. So this champagne shade and this golden shade. This will make the tan look, it will just make you look a little more glowy as opposed to using something light as this one or just a champagne one. This one gives a little bit more of a golden glow. So I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and a little bit on the bridge of my nose, the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. And that really intensifies the highlight. And when you have highlighted points like that, it definitely um, just makes you look a little bit more glowy and healthy, like you've been in the sun for some reason. I'm also taking just a little bit above and under my eyebrows as well. And when you have a highlight, it also makes you look a little more kind of glowy and tan. And now another little thing that you don't have to do, but I like to, um, although I do have freckles naturally, just concealed them a little bit with the powder and everything that I put on, but I do have some freckles on my nose. I like to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Bar Pomade and a small eyeliner brush like the MAC 201 and just emphasize the freckles a little bit. If you don't have freckles, you can go ahead and draw them on. If you do have them, just or you don't like freckles, just skip this step. But I like to add a little more freckles like that with different pressure on just to make it look a little bit more natural. And that also makes you look a little bit more tan, especially if you do have freckles naturally and you kind of um, conceal them or hide them with all the products that you applied on your face. You want to bring them back because that what makes you look like kind of sun-kissed like that, I like to apply it on the center of the nose and then take it just a little bit further on the cheeks. So that also makes you look like you've been a lot in the sun. And that is it. I'm just going to spritz my face with the Scandinavia makeup primer, no, makeup finishing spray. This is the oil control one. Just a little bit to set everything and make all the powders and the cream product just merge together and kind of melt down together and take away any of the powderness. And this is the finished look. So I'm just going to apply some um, eye makeup, a little bit of mascara and um, lips and I'm going to be right back. 
that is it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and that you find it helpful let me know in the comments below if you did i really enjoy reading your comments and have a discussion in the comment section below also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on the way out it would really help i would really appreciate it and check out if you are subscribed are you subscribed check it out now if you don't make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell button to get notified every time i upload a video which is twice a week tuesdays and saturdays and i'm going to talk to you all on tuesday bye